Hi, my name is Caitlin McCarthy, and I did the international business travel on an engine of innovation. Core theory is our goal is to assess the impact of international business travel on the rate of innovation across countries, and it discussed the face-to-face -face communication is important for the transfer of technology. Uh, this helps eliminate a possible language and culture barrier, and it's also easier to demonstrate and teach in person rather than over a Zoom network. Um, Short-term cross-border labor movements for innovation. It is the high cost of international travel cause a doubt in short-term cross-border movements. Uh, this comes into play later on in the slide when it discusses the area of application. However, it discusses the short-term movement of embodied skilled people that also transfer um, technology knowledge, per se. Um, the impact of business travel on technology transfer and the growth of innovation uh, truly discusses the importance of business travel to international countries to share uh, different ways of using a technology. The research questions are, is effective knowledge transfer possible by providing non-rival blueprints? Um, is effective knowledge embodied in people needed? Uh, this comes into play with the technology discussion and how technology has kind of overrun our world in today's society rather than people sharing face-to-face -face meetings. Does this mean that skills embodied in people play no role anymore for innovation? Looking into these questions, uh, the reason or justification for this is it stated in history that the international flow of skills embodied in people had major effects of innovation and growth. It goes to show that people have an influence on other people, um, especially traveling internationally. Other cultures look into other cultures. Um, this all began in 1789, and it's the international movement of skilled craftsmanship that was banned. However, Samuel Slater defied this type of ban, and he built a water structure or textile mill that would soon began the Industrial Revolution. Um, this showed that blueprints can be transferred electronic quickly and anywhere, and by this banning of people, it showed that technology was kind of the basis of what was to come and how things were to be shared to people. Um, this definitely leads to a question, kind of like a research question, um, about face fade meetings and their importance of um, the technology that is to come and whether um, business travel is to become more reliable or less reliable. Research mythology. Um, the goal is to estimate the relationship between the rate of innovation and inward business travelers from abroad. Um, the rate of innovation and inward business travels go hand in hand as it's uh, technology transferred and the more skills people have the more it is to bring um, innovation from business travelers. The model of technology transfer is embodied form through trade and direct communication. Uh, this is directly related to the business travelers and um, individuals that are transferring through this uh, channel. Um, a model of technological knowledge diffuses through travel or other channels. And two of these models that were used within um, the paper were the control function and the uh, instrumental variable. And these two um, address the concerns <clears throat> with error regression and created a way to show more of an estimation within charts and tables. The analysis that came with about was the travel can help facilitate exchange of information and transfer of ideas. That is always a basis that anywhere you go, you share your knowledge. And so travel was one of the, and still is one of the main ways that people are able to gain a more idea of what um, per se, like a technology would be here rather than over there or the other way around. Um, it helps links entrepreneurs with possible foreign technology to grow innovation. Um, one of the main analysis points was on average a 10% increase in business travel leads to an increase in patenting by about 0.2%. Um, and inward business travel is about a fourth as potent for innovation as domestic R&D spending. Business travel, 0.2% is not that much. However, in 
by 10% increase of business travel, that is not as much as an increase in 0.2. However, the inward business travel is shows the importance that it is for innovation just as much as R&D spending would be, which would be probably more expensive for a company to spend R&D rather than um, business traveling for sharing technology, sharing any type of information. Um, face face technology is important. It's more, it's easily, easier to demonstrate and teach in person rather than to um, try and explain over the phone. I'm not sure if you've ever tried to explain a some form of technology to someone, but it's not as easy, especially if you're on video and you can't really video, you can only explain word to word. More people learn visually rather than with words. Um, international business travel has a significant effect in raising the country's innovation, and business travel only affects the technology transfer. Uh, there were several tables and charts that discussed visiting family and friends as not becoming more of effect, but more of less than the business travel itself. Obviously, business travel is for you're on a strict mission and you're there for business only while visiting family and friends. You get caught up in what is around you rather than sharing your knowledge about technology. These are charts and tables. Table one on the left shows a descriptive statistics about patenting and the resident travel. Um, it's, an, it's an observation, however, it doesn't include the control function or the independent ver or the instrumental variable as discussed in the f past few slides. Um, however, it shows the U.S. patent counts above um, 101, while the joint U.S. patent counts is two as a mean, which shows that U.S. patent counts are higher, and therefore, as we travel across businesses, we have a larger influence and ability to face-to-face -to -face meet to transfer technology. Um, the business travel is the highest U U.S. resident travel, rather than visiting friends and family, um, which is close behind, but still not as, as many. And on the right, it shows the 10-year difference for family and friends versus the business travel. Business travel is the line in the red, and the family and friends is above and below. Um, obviously, it shows a strong correlation with each other, and they're all interconnected um, in the middle of this graph. Christian principles um, that were kind of not stated but more related, and it's interaction face-to-face. -face. Um, it allows true openness and it builds relationships with people rather than over technology that people are um, more easier to kind of like hide behind in a sense. And Ephesians 4.29 states as well, it says, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And I saw this relating because it's um, interaction face-to-face -face is a great way to build people up and a great way to build relationships. Um, it fits the occasion of meeting with each other and um, giving grace to those who, around you. Um, the second one I found was the knowledge can be a gift from God. Uh, everyone has a sense of knowledge, and therefore it sh we should share the knowledge as we would share the gospel. Uh, Proverbs 18.15 states, The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge, for the ears of the wise seek it out. And so if you're, lear if you're wanting to learn about others and technology, you are willing to seek out knowledge from other people and listen to what they have to say rather than you learning it by yourself. Um, the area of application within this is the cross-border lab labor movements. It reshapes markets and creates new challenges for those markets. Um, without cross-border labor movements, the markets would stay the same. Uh, technology transferred through international trade. Technology is huge nowadays, especially with the uh, COVID pandemic. Technology has become has shaped our world in the last few years whether it's been like working from home and a lot more zoom meetings rather than face to face so is the area of application is technology is a huge part of our world um the increase in patenting slash patent innovation technology is the main reason for this uh and face to face sharing of our knowledge and skilled embodied people there are always there are people skilled no matter where you are in international business and to see 
sharing of this and sharing of technology through to grow innovation and grow overall is really important. And these are my references. Thank you.